This dashboard is designed to be used in industrial applications where you want to monitor equipment or manufacturing processes in real time or do predictive maintenance. For our sensor data, we're going to be using a programmable logic controller from Automation Direct. I'm going to use the P1AM microcontroller. You'll also need two vibration sensors, a power supply, and the Ethernet module that works with the P1AM PLC. Your equipment will need to be connected together as seen on screen. For more information about building your PLC and hardware, please refer to the tutorial on PubNub.com. Once you've assembled your hardware, now you can program it with the Arduino IDE. We're going to use the Arduino IDE so that we can use the PubNub Arduino SDK. The first thing you'll need to do is add the PLC to the Arduino development environment. To do so, go to Arduino, Preferences, and then you'll need to add this board manager URL for the P1AM microcontroller. Next, go to Tools, Board, Boards Manager. Search for P1AM and install the board by Fax Engineering. Now, make sure that that board is selected. Now you need to install the PubNub Arduino SDK. To do so, go to Tools, Manage Libraries. Now search for PubNub and install the latest PubNub SDK. Now that you've installed the PubNub library, you can begin development. We'll include the P1AM, Ethernet, and PubNub libraries. You'll want to change this MAC address to match the MAC address of your Ethernet module. We'll declare some variables that will be used to read the analog inputs and then compare them to the previous value. In our setup routine, we'll open a serial connection and then initialize our modules. Then we'll connect to the internet. Now you're ready to create a connection to PubNub. Replace these pub and sub keys with your pub sub keys from your PubNub dashboard. In our loop routine, we'll get our analog input readings from our four analog inputs. Then we'll calculate the absolute value from the previous reading and the current one and publish that to PubNub.com. We're calculating the absolute value because we want to see the difference in position of our sensors. That difference is the vibration. Finally, we'll remember our reading for the next loop. When you're ready to upload to your board, connect it with a USB cable, double check that you have the correct port selected, and then upload. Now we're ready to build our dashboard. Our dashboard consists of three main files, index.html, dashboard.js, and dashboard.css. In dashboard.css, we define some styling to help format our dashboard. In index.html, we'll create a structure for our dashboard, and then we'll create two areas for monitoring our two different sensors. The first one's going to be our compressor sensor. We'll define a chart and then we'll add an area that shows the operational status and the vibration status. And which one of these cards will show will depend on the values being received. And then we'll repeat this for the fan sensor. At the bottom of index.html, we include the PubNub JavaScript SDK, Bootstrap, and the chart.js library that we're going to use to draw our charts. We also include dashboard.js. In dashboard.js, the first function is a function to get the max value from the chart. We'll use this to determine the current vibration status. We'll define our two charts, and then our connection to PubNub. Replace these pub and sub keys with your PubNub API keys 
These API keys need to match the API keys used when flashing or PLC. Next, we'll get the history of the monitoring channel so that there's data already in our charts when the page loads. Now we'll define our listener so that when we receive new values from PubNub, we can update our chart. We'll also remove old values from the chart so that we only show 40 at a time. Then we'll update our status boxes. These status boxes will update based on the max vibration value from our chart. And we'll do this for both charts. Next, we subscribe to monitoring channel to listen for data. Any data received will then be processed by our listener. The last thing we need to do is check to see if we're still receiving data. If we stop receiving data after 20 seconds, then we'll update the dashboard to indicate that our data stream is offline. This could mean that there's something wrong with our PLC or we're not receiving sensor data. Make sure your PLC is connected to the internet and now open index.html in your browser. You should see live data being streamed. Try manipulating the sensors and see what happens to these values. For more information on building your own condition monitoring dashboard, read the full tutorial on pubnub.com.